In this video we're going to explain the difference between torsion differential and open differential. We will focus only on torque split, not the mechanical structure. We will use some real physics but fake numbers to make the model easy to understand. Imagine two rear wheel drive cars. On the left with torsion and on the right with open diff. One rear wheel is on snow, another on tarmac. Let's presume that the maximum force that the wheel on snow may apply to the ground without losing traction is 15 newtons. If you apply 16, wheel will slip. So let's start. At first you are pressing accelerator pedal gently, like 20%. Engine creates 20 newton meters which go through the shaft to rear differential, and there it is divided to left and right. So far equally, 10 to the left and 10 to the right. Now you are pressing accelerator pedal harder, like 30%. Engine creates 30 newton meters which go to the back, 15 to the left and 15 to the right. Still the same torque split for torsion and open diff because the limit value for wheel on snow is not exceeded. And now, you are pressing accelerator pedal in 40%. Engine creates 40 newton meters. Torque split of open differential is always 50-50 so it tries to send 20 to the left and 20 to the right. Maximum value that the wheel on snow may apply to the ground is exceeded, so traction is lost. As you see, you can't press accelerator pedal harder than 30% because you will lose traction. And when the traction is lost then the friction coefficient between tire and snow goes down, so in fact wheel is not applying 15 anymore, but let's say 13. So 26 in total situation is different in torsion. If you are sending 40 newton meters there, wheel on snow still gets only 15. Traction is not lost. Remaining 25 is taken by right wheel. Let's press accelerator pedal harder, like 50%. So 50 newton meters go to the back. 15 still goes to the wheel on snow and 35 to the wheel which is on tarmac. Now you press accelerator pedal to 60% and you still have traction. 15 go to the left and 45 to the right. 60 in total. And what will happen if you press accelerator pedal to 70% and try to create 70 newton meters? Will 15 still go to the wheel on snow? No. Our torsion has 3-1 torque bias ratio. That means it can send to one wheel up to 3 times more torque than to the other wheel. So 15 to the left and 45 to the right is maximum. If total of 60 is exceeded then the traction is lost. But still slipping wheel is applying 13. So the other wheel is applying 3 times 13, that is 39. That gives 52 in total. Let's compare maximum values before loss of traction. and after loss of traction.